Good morning, MSUB athletes. May not be morning, but it's always morning because mornings are the best. Hey, well, I just wanted to make this video uh, before you heard anything through the grapevine. I didn't want to send a text. I didn't want to send an email because that's just not cool. And you guys deserve better. Um, in short, I just uh, I just want to let you know I'm not going to be back in the fall. Um, it's really hard to kind of figure out a reason good enough. And I've made a bunch of these videos and um, I, so far none of them have really explained like how I'm feeling and stuff, but I'm sad to have to make this video for sure. Like it sucks a lot, but I guess the short version is I, my wife is pregnant, Katie's pregnant. We're gonna have a girl in January. Um, her name is going to be Esme. Those are always the three questions. When does she do? What are you having? What's the name? So there you go. There's all three of those answers. Um, I'm super excited. And it just kind of make it made me realize I needed to kind of figure out decisions that were more long term. And uh, MSUB will always be like part of my uh origin story you could say and you guys you athletes will be an integral part of that and i loved developing a relationship with you all um this last year especially was super special to me it was like i had my own teams and like i was quote unquote like yeah i, I was in charge of making the developing the program and developing you guys trying to help develop you guys um and I just feel like I made some special bonds, like some relationships with you athletes that, that I'll like forever remember. And I don't think like, obviously they're not going to end right now, but, um, yeah, not being able to see y'all on the, on a daily basis is going to be sad for sure. Um, MSUB did offer me the head position, but I was still just going to have like limited hours because of funding um and i would have to work with with all 11 teams so that just puts me at like a one session a week with each team and that's yeah better than nothing but uh not enough to see development and to actually be hands-on in, in in uh creating a program you know and i just wanted to see y'all more than one day a week but so yeah that's that's the short I'm really sad I, I have to send this video. Um, but just know that you guys can reach out anytime if you need anything. Um, most of you guys have my personal number and uh, like whatever you need, just let me know. I'm over at Beartooth now. Um, so if you need anything, just come up, just stop by. Yeah, come see how things are going. And I will be at your games because MSUB athletes are what make that school. So thank you guys for being who you are and um, helping me by being you. Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I'm not making another one of these videos because this, <laughs> this is my best one so far. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for accepting me and uh, helping me develop you as as student athletes and uh, helping me develop as a coach, okay? If you guys need any help with anything in the future, just reach out. And remember, when you squat, initiate the movement with your hips, shifting them backwards, and then sit down into the basement driving your knees out over your toes. Don't let your knees go in when you, when you drive up. When you RDL, keep your back flat, knees slightly bent, bar close to your body as you go down. Feel it in your hamstrings and then come up. When you bench press, keep your elbows in at a 45 degree angle. Don't let them, don't let them go out. 
it's too heavy if it, they go out. Always set up underneath the bar, right underneath your eyeballs, so you don't smack the J-hooks. Touch your chest, right below your chest, and drive up towards your face. When you curl, always keep your elbows next to your sides. Feel it in them seps. And do lots. Remember, legends are created in the off-season. Thank you, MSUB athletes, for everything you do. Keep doing what you're doing.